Associate Professor St. Peter's College of Engineering, Hyderabad. Today we are going to be discuss about AM and FM receivers. In basic communication system, we have studied the basic blocks of any communication system. It includes modulator and demodulator. We know that one modulation schemes includes like you know linear modulation like a, a double side band suppressor carrier and amplitude modulation SSB or VSB and uh, comes under the angle modulation we have the frequency modulation and phase modulation. The source signal is audio in this uh, AM and FM radio system. Different, uh, uh, different sources have different spectrum like you know that one voice and music hybrid signal which occupy the different frequencies. Radio system should be able to receive any type of uh, uh, audio source uh, simultaneously. Different stations with different sources transmit signal simultaneously. Different listeners tune to different stations simultaneously. The different radio stations share the frequency spectrum of the air through AM and FM modulation. Each radio station within certain geographical region is a designated a carrier frequency around which it has to transmit. Sharing AM and FM radio spectrum is achieved through the frequency division multiplexing technique. Uh, different radio stations, different source signals we have to be understand that when it is FC1 and FC1 and FC2 is going to be carry the different frequency bands by the different signals which are originated by the different transmitters. Carrier spacing in between the two channels is equal to 10 kHz in the AM and bandwidth is equal to 3 to 5 kHz. For AM radio, each station occupies the maximum bandwidth is 10 kHz only. Carrier spacing in between the two bands of frequencies is 10 kHz. For FM radio, each station occupies the bandwidth is 200 kHz and therefore the carrier spacing is also 200 kHz. It means that by comparing AM and FM, which occupies the more bandwidth, means only FM is going to occupy the more bandwidth. Transmission bandwidth uh, is the bandwidth occupied by the message signal in the radio frequency spectrum. It uh, also the carrier spacing you can be understand in AM the bandwidth is equal to 2 omega and any FM bandwidth is equal to 2 of 2 d plus 1 or omega like this is the frequency deviation omega is the what is the maximum frequency of the modulating signal is according to the Carson rule we define that one bt for the FM but theoretically FM bandwidth is infinite. Design of AM FM radio receiver. The radio receiver has to be cost effective. It has some requirements uh, as to be worked with both AM and FM signals. Tune to and amplify desired radio station. Filter out all the other stations. Demodulator has to be worked with all radio stations regardless of the carrier frequency. For the demodulator to work with any radio signal, we convert the carrier frequency of any radio signal into intermediate frequency. Our radio receiver designs can be optimized for that frequency only. IF is intermediate frequency filter and having the demodulator for IF frequency. Recall that AM and FM have different radio frequency spectrum ranges that you know that when AM is 540 kHz to the 1600 kHz, FM is 88 MHz to the 108 MHz. Therefore, two IF frequencies are needed, AM for 455 kHz and FM is the 10.7 MHz. A radio receiver consisting of the following uh, sections in the black diagram, like you know, a radio frequency section and RF to IF converter, like you know that when it is a mixer, an intermediate frequency section and demodulated radio amplifier. This is known as a super heterodyne receiver and it consisting of the RF and IF section. Uh, RF is for the filtering and IF is for the amplification purpose. The receiver was designed by the Armstrong method. Next, RF uh, section, uh, uh, it tunes to the desired RF frequency, FC. It includes RF band, post filter center around FC. The bandwidth of the RF section is uh, BRF, usually not narrow band, passes the desired radio station and adjacent stations. The minimum bandwidth of RF filter is greater than the uh, transmission bandwidth, passes the desired radio channels and adjacent channels. RF IF converter, it is um, a converter carrier frequency to the IF frequency. 
how can we convert signal with different RF frequencies to the same higher frequency? Yeah, by using the local oscillator with center frequency f elbow, f elbow is a function of RF carrier frequency, which was designed f elbow is equal to FC plus y FIF. All stations are translated to fixed carrier frequency for adequate selectivity. Then we have the local oscillator, we have the FC, we have the filter, then we can have the output of the filter is intimate frequency. Two frequencies are generated the output of product modulator that you can call it as FLO plus FC or FLO minus FC. FLO plus FC is equal to FC plus FIF. FLO minus FC is equal to FIF. The IF frequency components are eliminated through the filtering. We are left with the IF frequency. One problem with this type of receivers are image signals. Image signals has a center frequency that FI is equal to FC plus 2I to FIF. If an image signal exists at the input, uh, input the RF to IF converter, then the output of the converter will include the desired signal with the uh, plus image signal. Like you know that one, here we have the FLO uh, plus FI is equal to FC plus FIF plus FC plus 2. FIF is equal to FC plus 3 FIF. FLO minus FI is equal to FC plus FIF minus FC plus 2. FIF is equal to minus FIF. Incoming carrier frequency is equal to 1000 kHz. Let us consider. And local oscillator frequency is 1000 kHz plus 455. It is resultantly you can have output is equal to 1455 kHz. Consider another carrier is 1910 kHz. And if this passes through the same oscillator, we'll have this 1910 minus 1455. It is equal to the 455 kHz component. Therefore, both carriers will be passed through RF to IF converter. Therefore, RF filters should be designed to eliminate the mass signals. The frequency difference between carriers and its image signals is 2 FIF. RF filter does not have to be selective for the stations, have to be selective for the mass signals. Therefore, BRF should be lesser than the 2 FIF but greater than the PT. I have filtered having the same frequency of I have and wing bandwidth approximately same as the transmission bandwidth. Uh, like you know that one for AM it bit is equal to omega, for FM is bit is equal to of D plus 1 omega. Depending on, the, depending on the type of the received signal, the output of the filter is demodulated using FM or AM demodulator. For AM demodulator, it is using the envelope detector. For FM demodulator,